Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Pre commitment ceremony update Celine Dion is looking forward to the commitment ceremony so he can speak his truth. The million dollar question what were they fighting about? Cody and Selena have nicknamed themselves Colina. Happy days, Team Colina is back. And they start gossiping about Matt and Kate. I just feel so bad for Matt because he, know. he, he knows he's messed up. He's so apologetic. It's just... Ugh. He knows better. He's had enough life experience to know that you just don't do that. Speaking of Matt and Kate, Matt is remorseful about getting drunk the other night. Robotic Kate responds by making a weird noise. I feel like a dick. Jackson is still in shock of Olivia's behavior. It was definitely hard to see this different side to live because it's so unusual and, you know, something that I definitely haven't seen from her before. It's not okay! Time for the commitment ceremony, but wait, someone is missing. Celine Dion, who is all oh, him, said... I did right leave. You right leave. Mitch and Ella are up next. Mitch is proud of Ella for supporting... The support that she sort of was showing for, for Dom, I think, was great. I was pretty proud like that i found a glimmer of hope but liv's face is about to fall off from overactivity in the background they confirm they like like each other i do like like selena as well and that was Aww. cody and selena look what you've started they both choose to stay up next is confused tamara and brent apparently they haven't spoken since their retreat and haven't spoken since then we really never know what's happening with these two as producers don't give them adequate screen time. And I'm not blaming her. This is not a, a finger pointing thing, but I shut down. It's the way it's said. And the only thing I'm thinking about at the time is, you know, don't fight back. Don't, don't snap. Confused Tamara says Brent likes her more than she likes him and that he doesn't bring out the best in her. Playing the blame game, Tem Tem. Why? Hard to say. Dom's influencer skills are up there as Jack jumps in and tells Tam if she had the common decency to tell Brent this revelation before tonight's commitment ceremony. Brent confirms he had no clue. Last time. I haven't met Jack. I don't want to make it weird. Tamara writes leave and Brent writes stay. The confusion continues. Now I feel guilty. Damn. Colina are up on the couch. Cody confirms he is in between the like like. Are you catching feels? I don't know, Mel. On your little chart, are feels higher than like like, or is like like <laughs> up here and we got feels down here? Sweet. Selena and Cody both obviously right stay. Up next is poet Al and Sam, who won your votes on who wore the dress better. Sam says Al is idled, privileged boy and all I wanted from you is to man up and I know that's, we don't say that, like to step up and literally just have a conversation with me about my family or about my interests. Sam is at the end of her rope in this relationship and writes leave. And I don't want to be stringing her along but on the other hand I also got to think of what I want to do. So, no, that's what you're I not. To stay. No, you're not. God, please, no! Can I change my decision? The experts agree to something they've never done before. They will give Al and Sam just one more day. Just one more day together, and the couple will then decide whether to stay or leave. It's not something we've done before, but you're in a very bad place. Help me help you. Dominica and Jack are up. It's obvious Jack and Dom will write stay. They discuss their own argument at the couple's retreat. It was a discussion between Dom and some of the girls just about a few boxes that I wasn't ticking at that present time in our relationship. Followed by the glass breaking incident. In that moment you just want someone who's gonna be there for you and that's what Jack was. Mel asks what happened at the retreat. Not blaming my behaviour and my action on Olivia. I just want to make that clear. Dom explains the trigger points that Olivia set off. 
it wasn't about anything I'd said to someone, it was just about me as a person. And it doesn't excuse my behaviour of getting frustrated and breaking a glass. Apologise the next night. Dom and Liv have a back and forth and Liv makes a condescending statement about Dominica's apology. I just would like to say that I think you've worded yourself beautifully on the couch and I appreciate that. So that's, that's what's changed. Olivia says she's not going to keep kissing ass. Dom says she's not asking her to kiss ass. Liv says she's trying to be nice but... Oh no, there's a but. Can we stop with all the butt and kissing of asses? Thank you. Group hug. Uh-uh. 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 Okay. We're trying to be nice and keep on getting shit on, so I don't know why. Because you, you try to be nice, but then you end it with something that's not very nice. And that's when it doesn't feel genuine. Liv says she's sorry, but we all know she's not sorry. Is that... Oh, sorry. Sorry. But I'm not. Sorry. Matt and Kate write leave, and for the first time on this entire show... Kate looks happy. Thank you so much. Jackson and Olivia are up next. Jackson starts talking about Olivia's snide comments and how he saw a different side to her. Liv did tell me that she is somebody to hold a grudge and that's, you know, that's how she is. That's not who I am. I'm not somebody who holds a grudge. I just think negative energy is no good. Who has the time? A petty monster. To me, I, I've just got no time for it. It's, it's one in a million and it, he's, I think he's the oh, right one. Why? On cue, Daniel and Carolina walk holding hands. There's a lot of swearing and chattering commotion as Daniel and Carolina get mic'd up. Daniel explains how he and Carolina got together. Obviously it's a shock and there's no real right way to kind of address this situation, especially because we've... <laughs> what situation? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> We have absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> Olivia and Jackson, Sorry, let's guys. just start with you guys. Like, um, we're going to need to pause you right there. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. I... It's a disaster! The rest of the group are appalled and keep yelling out questions. Um, so in what part and what stage of all of this did you think about of saying something to Dion? Maybe saying that you were speaking to another guy during this whole experiment. But how can you come on a retreat with someone and then... Is he waiting for you? Like, and you then, just and waiting for her? Not trying. Not trying and like, then last night. Like, you have to know. Guys, just I'll just get you trying. to hold your questions. This is going to be good. Carolina apologizes to Dion, someone else, if that. Oh, obviously, I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt your feelings. Oh, no. You, you clearly did. Each other. They deserve each other. Uh, Dion has his moment to say his piece. Someone else could have had your opportunity, Carolina, to sit by me, to get married to me, Bye. to get everything that I offer as a person, and you've taken that away from that person, and you took it away from me. It's not okay! Daniel has the audacity to ask if he and Carolina could join in the experiment as a couple. Yes, there's a part of us that would like to continue this experiment together. Oh, no. No way! Five minutes before the show ends, we have it. The mass walkout. It feels pretty anticlimactic at this point because we've been shown the walkout scene about a thousand times now. No way! Did. After an ad break, the contestants were forced back into the commitment ceremony. After several dramatic minutes, the experts tell Daniel and Carolina that they are not welcome back into the experiment. The fact of the matter is, the group is triggered, they're very angry. And let's not forget about Dion, you betrayed him, you went behind his back. It's deception, and that is something that he has to live with, and it's humiliating. I won't be giving advice. And the group rightfully breaks into a rapturous applause. Well. What are your thoughts of the walkout? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you thank tomorrow. You. From everyone here, thank you. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.